Hello guys and welcome to Farming Life episode 52. Um, just I'll do a short intro, I forgot to do one. So I'll do a short intro. Today, first things first, we are tagging, marking and scabby vaccine lambs. Uh, so that's the first thing you see and then after that we're doing a bit of first spreading with big tractor. So stay tuned for that. Um, we're just doing it with ours. Uh, a bit of work before the rain. Um, so... Hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you're new around here, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like. Thank you very much and um, enjoy the video. Um, time for them to go into the felt, like all of these um, singles. Uh, well, one felt we're putting on now and one felt we're waiting about a week, a week or two. Just let it freshen up a bit more. Hope that grass starts growing, because like most people um, at the moment, we have not a lot of grass. Um, but we'll get this lot in, some quite nice lambs in here, some quite nice yows um, Get these done, hopefully before it rain So there's going to be rain at about half two, three o'clock It's currently half two So but it looks quite good weather at the moment So here's hoping, let's get them done Too many. Sit. Walk on. Sit. Sit down. A little, a little, a little. Yeah, is it? <laughs> scratch the thing, yeah. That's to stop it getting all. <laughs> if I put a rubber ring on that, that'll be to stop it getting. Oops, that's a nice lamb, that one. This is one of my favourite lambs. Out of this yow here, a good yow. This has got to be took the red ourselves. Extremely well. Eyes going all right for us. Give them a mark so we know which fell they're off. Yeah, we keep every we have four different hats and keep them all separate. That'll not go up the fell that one though. Sometimes we have one or two disappear on the fell. What's your by then, son? Right, here we go. Scratching these for off. Scabby that. Oh, give me. Like a little scratch in there. Just a stuff on it. And then this is a gimmer. Tag it. The top one. The male one. It picks which top it's about and by which fell it's on. The four different colours. Yeah. And that one there, uh, the what's it's got by? Mm -hmm. That's why I took me a lot off uh, 
Wide Hill. Wide Hill, Mr. Dent at Wide Hill. Nice lamp. All right. Good yeah, black and white. Time of year again. <clears throat> Time to make some grass grow. Could be out this year since so there's either been no rain or when there's been loads of rain, there's been no sun. But now it's sunny and rainy, so I mean, what better time to get some fur on? So that is the job today. I've been on somewhere else spreading it today. Come back um, early, it's about half five, quarter six now. Got a bit of down to get some fur spreading. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Just one or two bags, probably. Um, first bit of hooked up the big tractor. Job is a uh, wooden, hopefully. Sometimes, I mean, in the past videos I've got of fur spreading, I've all been someone else doing it. But last year I did it in the tractor, obviously. And this year I think I will. This year as well, I can't get the thing up for some reason. I'm going to do it, but last year I didn't video it. So the fur we're using this year, let me back up, glass and fertilizers, 25, 5, 7.5, 5, 7.5, so you know, complicated at all. Oh. So we've got 12 bags, which is 7, 6.2 tons or something, 600 kilo bags, just easy weights like, can't be it. There we are, on the early bus, over here. Get among it in it like. She's gear full, like she's brimming. Uh, we've put one strip down this meadow, empty it out a little bit. Uh, we'll fill the ground is a bit steep, so don't really want stuff sloshing off its side and wasting. So, for hours, some people have isobus and some people have isobus and stuff like that. It's like gear posh, but we just have a little screw on the back. Charm and back and tell you what's what. Other than that, you just make it up as you go along. So I need to go up about four miles an hour again because of the hills. Not PTO in yet. 5.40 PTO. Additive, 
basically. We put on um, crops, crops for grass. Some people um, who do arable will put it on arable. Um, basically, it um, makes the crop grow. Um, needs water really, rain water to work effectively. It's like the forecast for tomorrow is rain, so hopefully we can get as much on today, tonight um, as we can. And it rains tomorrow, it should work an absolute treat. Just boosts it up, which is what it needs at the moment. Uh, we don't put a lot on, um, especially not on our pastures. Uh, we do put it on our meadows uh, most years. Um, we might live on this year, which we did three years ago. Um, with a big lime, big Valtra, and a big tractor there. We'll go down this hill here. This is our fertilizer, which is, as you can see, as you can see, it's all sorts of different. Someone, if someone knows what certain things are, leave a comment down below, and I'll pin it. And quite interesting for me and people who want to know. So this is your fertilizer. Sits in there, falls down, and then. Ends up on the grass. You can see, you can see, and that's good and spread. And hopefully, when it rains, that stuff dissolves and goes into the ground. And the um, spread picks it up with the sand.
do it, we're going to try and make hay on this field, a little hay there. Because with big baler it's not safe really, if they can, they can tear a roll and whatnot. Um, so hopefully, in good enough weather, we get some hay made on it, a bit best thing for it, like, um, that's the plan anyway. It is good drying field, it's right against the sun. Sun comes, gets the sunlight all the time. Uh, so, oh, well, I mean, it is so steep. 